All righty, in today's Growing STEM, what is it like to invent something brand new? Two researchers have made a breakthrough with a 3D printed material. This is at NASA Glenn Research Center. This is exciting. Yeah. It really is. And it has the potential to be worth billions of dollars to the aerospace industry. Our Betsy Kling introduces us to the two inventors and shows us what this new alloy can do. NASA Glenn engineers Chris Cantos and Tim Smith can now call themselves inventors, too. They are the minds behind NASA Glenn's breakthrough material, a super alloy developed for extreme conditions of air and space flight. It's called GRX 810. In a rocket engine, you can go from zero to 1,000 or 2,000 degrees within a couple of seconds. So we need a material that's robust and reusable. And that's one of the big selling points for GRX 810 is it can stand many reuses. It all begins with a metal powder inside a 3D printer. A laser melts the extremely thin layers together. Slowly, a part is formed. The true test is heat. Temperatures that would cause other alloys to fail is no problem for GRX A10, making it ideal for stronger, more durable parts in rockets and airplane engines. The secret? The metal powder is coated with a ceramic before it's printed. But this happens at a nanoscale level. Particles so small they use sound waves to get the correct mixture. And to see them, they need an electron microscope. Every time we put a new sample in here, we see something that no one has ever really seen before. You know, we're looking at new compositions, new alloys, and every time when you get these type of magnifications, you see something new. This has the potential to generate billions in economic activity in the United States. Four U.S. companies have already licensed this new technology. NASA is always working 10, 15, 20 years ahead of industry. So it's rare when we have this perfect storm of a cutting edge technology and industry demand and having manufacturers ready to license and manufacture. For Cantos and Smith, they'll spend the rest of their careers working with, testing, and finding better understanding of the properties of the alloy they invented. It's exciting. If I could go back and talk to like five-year-old me, he would be pretty pumped to, to hear that, you know, we, we got to invent something. For Growing STEM, Betsy Kling, 3 News. All right, that's fantastic t yeah. technology. Uh, Christy and I, as we're watching that, we're still trying to get our mind around yeah. these printers that can make uh, gun parts and spaceship parts and houses. Yeah, houses. Uh, uh, yes, they actually make housing materials. All the kids are doing it, I guess, and, and we're left in the dark. <laughs> uh, we we got to look into this, how this works. We're not kids anymore. No, we're not. <laughs> now, one of the companies working with the new metal is right here in Ohio, and because the material can be 3D printed, it can make unique shapes that current manufacturing processes can't make produces less waste too which is also a, a big benefit of all this but I don't understand how it works I don't know if you load this resin or yeah. the composite whatever into the printer and then it just goes over and I think Betsy was saying in the piece layering. It, it layer it puts one layer on after another until there is this part yeah. Yeah, from the printer. It would be a good story. I think maybe we need to check that out. It's way we over my head. We need to go head. do it. It's, it's, me too. Me too.